Hello and welcome to Four Clovers Quilting. My name is Dion. I am back. I was trying to clean my room up a little bit and I'm back with a bunch of fabric that you haven't seen. I have four panels, three layer cakes, a charm pack, 36 cuts at one yard, three cuts at one and a half yards, 37 cuts at two yards, and three cuts at three yards, and one curated pack from my local fabric shop that has one yard and six half yard cuts. So I thought I would show you all this, and I didn't add up my list, but it's a bunch. So um, I had them stacked over here, and I'll just turn my camera over here where my mom and dad are on this, and my fan over on this counter. You can see it's all cleaned off. I had them all stacked up over there, and I thought, you know, I better show you before I put these all away, never to be seen again, probably. So I'm going to start with these sitting right in front of me. I bought this Benertex charm pack. It is super cute, and it is called Shimmering Twilight. Here's all the cuts that are in there. Really, really pretty, and they all have a little bit of a, a shimmer. I don't, I don't want to say it's metallic, but it looks like the the white or the is kind of an opalescence. It's really pretty, and I bought this one yard cut to go with it. And oh, can you see the shimmer? It's really pretty, and this one is the same line, and it is called, yep, Shimmering Twilight by Greta Lynn for canvas. So there's that one, really pretty. So those, those colors are my jam. So I thought that'd be fun. So there's the charm pack and one yard. Then it's been a while since I bought this Penelope layer cake. And it is, let's see, Flower House Penelope Debbie Beeves. And 42 pieces, really pretty. Let's see if we can give you a little, hmm, I'm kind of clumsy, a little preview of what's going in here. Really yummy colors. There's those yummy greens and leaves and sweet peas. And I think there's a, was there a plaid in there? A little swirly one. Yeah, they're really pretty. And there's nothing on the back, so that's, that's a bummer. So I got this and I just, you know, kind of stuck it over in that stack. And I went to, there's some gals from close to where I live that have, they're called the Wayward Quilters, I believe. And they have a traveling fabric van or trailer. And they go from town to town of places that don't have a fabric store, which is kind of cool. So I was in my hometown several months ago. And I'm like, fabric in a truck? What's that? So, of course, I had to stop and I knew the gal. Hi, Kylene. Anyway, um, really fun. And I found these two pieces at a yard apiece. And really pretty. And little did I know, I had the layer cake at home. So, hey, that's pretty cool. So, that turned out really good. Layer cake and two one-yard cuts to go with it. Then I bought this. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's going in the garbage. This is Catalina Ultraviolet by Maywood Studio. Another really pretty piece. And you can kind of tell my colors, the purples, the greens, the, the cool tones, the black, yum. It's really pretty. And I picked up this big floral. There must be their focus because it's on their front of their layer cake. And I picked up this one yard cut as maybe a border. So there's that one. Then I got this one in the mail yesterday. It was on on, I think, the daily special at Missouri Star. And it came with Chuck the Duck. Anyway, I've got a ton of these little Chuck the Ducks. They're hanging out here. So he's got his Santa hat on, so he's ready to roll. And this one is called Serenity by Amanda Murphy for Benertex. And it's 10 inch squares. And here's the colors on the back. I thought it was really springy and pretty and, you know, a little bit of orange in it with those with those greens and pinks, I thought it was really pretty. So there we go. And then this is a pack I got quite a while ago at my local quilt store, Quilts and More. And um, it is one one yard cut and six half yard cuts. And they're all these yummy pansies on black. Yum. So can you see it very good? There we go. And I just thought they were so pretty, and pansies, they were my uncle's favorite flower, and he was just awesome. So this is for you, Uncle Bob. They just look like little happy faces to me. 
So there's this. And I haven't broken it out, but hey, you're getting to see it. That's good. Oh, I should tell you what these are. Timeless Treasures. I should probably tell you what these are. So let me just peek in here. Timeless Treasures, and it is, um, it's called Paisley. Oh, okay. Well, that one's called Paisley. What are these pansy ones called? Timeless Treasures. Um, having a tough time here. Let's see if I can figure out what at least one of these are. Oh, it's called Pansy. <laughs> Imagine that. So anyway, they're called Pansy and they're really, really pretty. And they've got the turquoise, the purple, black. It's just, it's yummy, yummy, yummy. So there's that pack. Okay, then I'm thinking, I'm not sure where I got these panels, but they were super, super cheap. They were like three bucks a piece. So, of course, I ordered those online. And this is called Ooh La La Michael Miller Fabrics. And I thought it was pretty cute. And it's got all these little, she's lounging in a bath and they're at a little dinner, little bike ride. Hopefully you can see these. Giving a little smooch at the cafe and little dog and flowers. And then, what does this say? Oh, next week I'll get it organized. Ha! Huh, I need that one hanging up behind me right now. <laughs> so there was that cute panel. And I thought that would be fun for, you know, some of these quilts that require a little panel. And you just never know where to find one or if you have one. Then I found this one. And I just, it just, it just kind of called to me with all these pretty colors. It is Flamingos. And it is John Keeling. Courtesy of MHS Licensing, Cycle, Cycle Enterprises, Cycle, wow, um, a Fabric Innovations. Hmm. Okay, I don't know exactly, but here, I'll let you take a peek at that. See if I can get that to so you can see this. And this is flamingos that I thought, I just thought they were really pretty, pretty with the flowers and the colors. And here's these really fun flamingos. And I think this was like $3.30 for this panel. So, you know, I had to have it. So I thought it was really pretty. And there's more of the flowers on the bottom. So I thought that was really pretty. Just fun and bright and, you know, makes you happy. <laughs> makes you happy to look at these fun, bright, pretty colors. And then, let me, let me get organized here. Under here, I found, these are two yard cuts. And then I found... Somewhere else, these flamingos. This one is called, it's Michael Searle, or Surly, I'm not sure, for Timeless Treasures. And it is called, what's it called? I don't see what it's called. Um, it doesn't say. It just gives a number. So let's show you that. Let's get the selvage up so you can see it. There he is, Michael Surly, Searle, I'm not sure how to say that, for Timeless Treasures. And look at these cute flamingos. I thought that would be a really fun back. These are a little more realistic flamingos than on the panel, but they're fun. So I thought they were bright and colorful and yummy, and I got a two-yard cut of that. And now these are a little more, these are a little more fun and goofy. This is AYQ copy, or AYQ Flamingo Beach, it's called. Copyright protected, I was going to read out, but we probably know that. Anyway, that's what that looks like, and these guys are funny to me. They are all hanging out at the beach, under the umbrella, in the floaty, basking, doing their thing. So I thought they were super cute and fun, and they're a little more whimsical, kind of like the, the panel was. So I have two yards of that and the panel. Then I saw this panel and it immediately made me think of that bounce pattern that I did with the square, that I had square panels and I should have had rectangular. So I thought this would be perfect if I ever wanted to try that again. This is called Live Out Loud, Hello, La <clears throat> excuse me, Hello Angel, licensed to William Wilmington Prince. And I think I got this one on sale for like three bucks online and super cute 
kind of wild, crazy. You could use a jillion colors with it. And I thought it was super fun. And it's rectangular. So, hey, I can do that pattern. So, I just thought that was really fun. And I found this online days later, uh, weeks, months, I don't know how long later. It was a while later. Totally different place. And I want to say it was just, it's Joanne's. And I thought this crazy wild print would be kind of a fun border for these crazy wild prints. So I thought that might be kind of fun. Gives me a little 60s vibe. And so that panel and that fabric. And that was two yard, panel and two yards of that wild print. Okay. I was watching Fabric Cafe and they put these Christmas prints into... I think it was just the snowball pattern, and it looked so pretty. So, of course, I had two of the prints. Yay! And I have two yards each of these. We have this holly, and we have these baubles and ribbons and ornaments. So, the ornaments one is, let's see if I can find what the, who did it? Well, I'm finding salvage, but I'm not finding any words. I have it inside out, apparently. Yes, I do. Okay, let's let's try and get this a little more organized. This is um, it's called Holly Jolly by Urban Chicks for Moda. Oh, they do all those really cute panels with Santa and the reindeer, and well, oh, they're super super cute. They also did Kitty Corn, I think, a Halloween or two ago. That is super cute. I have a box a boxed kit of that that I haven't cut into because it's just so dang cute. Yeah, Moda, and what was it called again? Holly Jolly, there it is. And super cute. So I want to do that and this one, which is also Holly Jolly, same exact um, line in the snowball fabric or snowball pattern of the three yard quilts. And then I bought this to go with it because I thought I got this at my local quilts and more. And this is PB Fabrics, and it's white on white, so it's really hard to see. Ramblings Holiday by P&B Textiles. And it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's got little ornaments on it. It's a white on, oh, oh, well, maybe there you can. White on white, and it's, I thought it would be a really, let's, let's see if I can bend it so you can see it a little better. Can you see the ornaments? They're, well, well maybe there. And they're just little baubles that I thought would match the little baubles on the red fabric. So that's going to be a three-yard quilt, I hope. Then I ordered from Fabric Cafe. They had they showed this one on um, several months ago, and it was in the dash pattern, which is really a fun pattern. It's got big blocks and it's got little blocks. So these are the three fabrics that they had for that. The ice cream cones crack me up. I loved it. And these look like little sprinkles for the ice cream. And this is the background for it. So it's really fun. And hopefully I'll have a video for that. It's on my list to do. So hopefully that'll be coming soon. And I wanted to add, there's big blocks that'll be these two, these two focus fabrics, big blocks. And then there's a little block that's kind of sprinkled around. And with this background, and I wanted like this color, this, this, it's kind of a, it was, I thought it was green, then I thought it was blue. So it's kind of a aqua, it was really hard to match. So I found, let me reach over here, I found a couple of fat quarters at Joann's, and I think, I think I like the plain one better, and it's not going to be sitting right on top of that, so hopefully it'll match okay. And I love the minty, or this aqua -y color with the peach. So that's going to be another quilt that I hopefully will show you guys. And it was the dash pattern from Fabric Cafe. And then I just added this fourth color in there just to give it a little zoop. Okay, where should we go now? Let's do the yard and a half ones. Okay, my fiance is a wildlife guy and, and he likes wolves and my dad loved wolves. So this is kind of fun. I saw this one and it is, what's it called? It is called R&B Latham 
represented by JQ Licensing LLC for QT Fabrics. Wow, that's a mouthful. Let's, let's get that up so you can see what it says. That, oop, there we go, R&B. And there we go. And it's these cool wolves. They're like little wolf vignettes. And I just thought they were really cute. He might need a new pillow or two for his couch or a fun pillowcase or something. And I got a yard and a half of that. So we can do something fun with it. And they're so realistic and they're just beautiful animals. So really cool. And I like that it was just, just the little vignettes. I thought that was really kind of fun. You could even fussy cut and make something fun. Then I bought this one at Quilts and More, our local store here. And this is called Power Play um, by Northcott. So let's get this folded correctly so you can actually see the dang thing. Did I get it folded right? Eh, not, not the best, but it's called Power Play. There we go. By Northcott. And I dug this plaid. I just thought it was super fun. And I've not worked with a bunch of plaids, so... Hmm, kind of nervous. So maybe just little squares. <laughs> maybe just little squares or huge borders or something. Because I thought, oh, how do you match those bad boys? It might be, that might be a challenge. So I have a yard and a half of that one. And I just thought that was really fun. And I bought this clover fabric, because I'm for clovers. And I bought this at Joann's. And this is just a, just a, real cute clover fabric. And my what four clovers means is I have my three best friends and me. So there's the four of us. And we don't get to see each other a lot. We live we all in Montana, but we live, you know, a ways apart from each other. And several years ago, I think it was about about six, uh, five years ago, we were meeting we a bunch of us from the class of 86 got my class of 86 shirt on. Yay. And we were meeting in Minot, North Dakota. Just whoever could come was coming. And I thought I've got to do something for my three besties. And one of the, one of the gals couldn't come at the last minute, but that's okay. It was, we had a lot of fun, but she was, she was greatly missed. And, um, what I was looking for something for friends, the, the two gals, Janice and Sarah, I've been friends with since kindergarten. And then my friend Lisa, the, the third of, I'm the fourth clover, but the third other clover, Lisa came to live, her school burnt down, which was like seven miles away from my hometown. And then in sixth grade, she came to school in my hometown. So it was really cool. So I've known two of them since kindergarten and one of them since sixth grade, and we're just besties. We have a, we have a, a text group and we just, we're always sending people, sending things back and forth, pictures, things we've done, if we need a little inspiration, if we have something funny. So it's just a really cool, fun thing that we do. And they're just awesome chicks. And I love them. I love them bunches. So I thought, what can I do for them that, you know, I want to do something special. So I found a poem that said, now I'm probably going to butcher it. It said, Having you for a friend is like finding a four-leaf clover. Hard to find, but lucky to have. So I put that in a little frame, and I got us all little four-leaf clover necklaces. So anytime I see something clover, guess what? They get something clover. So that's where we got the four, four clovers quilting. It's in honor of my girls. And I just thought that was a fun name, and that's how we got it. Anyway, moving on to more fabric. So... All of these I got yesterday. These are all two yard cuts. And I'm gonna show you the package because it shows you really well what it is. It is um, designed by Scott Barnes, fabric palette, oh, bup, 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 two yards. Pa pause all over is what it's called. So hopefully you can see that, let's, let's see. And I'll take it out of the pack. Well, maybe, where's the end of it? Okay, I'm just gonna rip it apart. I'm just gonna rip it apart. And my high school team was the Wildcats and we were black and orange, so I thought that's pretty fun. And it just, you know, 
I've been out of school for a hundred years, but it just reminded me of them. So there we go. So that's a two yard cut. And then this one is called Quiltology Two Yard Cut by Tim Reynolds and it's called Bethany White Outline Floral. So hopefully you could, oh, let's see. Hopefully you can see that. And I thought this was a really delicate, yummy background. And just the flowers were so, I can you, fuzzies on them. Can you see that? Oh, they're so pretty. And it's just like a real pretty light gray on this white background. And I just thought it would be so cool for a floral quilt or a floral big blocks or something. So there's that one. And all of these two yard cuts I got from Missouri Star. They were having a sale and I just got them yesterday. So there may be, oops, I tore it out of the bag before you could see it. Hopefully they still have some left. It is called Quiltology Two Yard Cut by Tim Reynolds and it's called Lace Flower White Diamond. So, well, that was silly of me. Tore it right out of the bag, I got so excited. So hopefully you can see that. And it looks like this, just a nice, there we go, a nice light gray on a white. Is it white? Yep, it looks white to me. And really, really fun. And it goes with these other two that I'm gonna show you here in just a second. This is another Quiltology Two Yard Cut by Tim Reynolds. Lace Flower Turquoise Texture. Lace Flower is the name of this line. And it's, I thought it was really fun. And that color, mm, yummy. I'll show it all three of them together as soon as I get them out of the packages. And that's got a little, it's just a textural, reads, reads as a solid, but it's got a little bit of a dotty texture, which is fun. And here's another one. It's called Lace Flower Large Floral. Same same line and I thought this was so cool and there we go Ooh, yum so I thought that was really pretty so here's these three together and there were several there were several pieces and I thought I'm just going to get three that's enough <laughs> yeah until next time so I thought they were really yummy together and two yards of each of those get rid of all these baggies. This one is Quiltology Two Yards by Kate Yost. Oh, Katie Yost, it looks like. You know, sometimes they need my glasses. And it's called Embrace the Magic Floral. Super cute. All these little dainty, delicate flowers. And they're pretty tiny, but they are fun on that really pretty aqua background. I thought it was so pretty. And then these dark it's either really dark gray or black leaves on the flowers. Yum. It just is really, really pretty. So two yards of that one. Now, I have to confess, yellow is not my favorite color. It's just, it's just not. But something about these rang my bell. And this is also Quiltology Two Yards by Katie Yost. It is called Smell of Daisies, and this is called Patch. So my friends would probably freak out because they know that yellow is not my favorite. But there's something about this that felt kind of retro to me. Probably something that I would have wore when I was <laughs> in the 70s. But how, I'm not sure how it goes. Oh, I guess it's, it's tossed. The hearts go every which way. But I just thought it was super cute with the gingham and the little daisies. And it's just super fun. And then this one is the same smell of daisies. And it's called Packed Daisies. Let's do, let's do this and then I'll get it out of the bag. And I just thought, how cute is that? And there was a black dot with it, a black polka dot, but I didn't, it was sold out before I got, before I hit buy. And that, so I thought they were so cute. And you know, you can find a black dot to go with it. I thought that was super cute. And I know, I know people that know me are gonna go yellow it's not obnoxious. It's really sweet. It's kind of dainty. So I'm hoping I can do something fun with it. This next one is, I thought it was would be a really pretty background. And it's also Quiltology by Tim Reynolds. It's called Tranquility Medallion. Oh, you better see the, you better see the pack. So there, hopefully you can see the words, Tranquility Medallion. And it's this really pretty dainty pink 
and I just thought, ooh, that's pretty. That would be a really fun background, a fun, you know, accent block. I just, I just really liked it. So two yards of all those. Now this one is Fabric Palette by Katie Yost, two yards, and it's called Retro Bus. Yes. And I love me a good retro. So here's the fabric info. And you know, these VW vans or buses or whatever they are, I think are so darn cute. The floral one, this one's got a bunting on it. I just, and the colors are yummy to me. They are super, super cute. So two yards of that bad boy, I loved it. Then this one is called Fabric Palette again, designed by Michael Moon and it is jingle all the way, two yard cut. So here is the bottom where hopefully you can see everything you need to see to get this. And two yard cut. And this is just super cute. Jingle bells, jingle all the way, laughing all the way. Um, one horse open sleigh, it's just super cute. And those little red trucks with the I mean, we get the side view and the front view. It is just darling. Is that the back view? And the back view of the truck with the tree in it is just super cute. And I really liked it with the little bells here. It's just loved it. Super cute, super fun. Nice two yard cut Christmas fabric. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the two yard cuts. This one is a Timeless Treasures and it just says West dash C. Kind of strange. But let's just get this up here so you can see it. And, well, I've kind of cut off. Let's flip this over so you can kind of kind of see what's going on on the salvage. And Timeless Treasures, and then it says West-C, and there's a number. So I am not a cowgirl. And, you know, I lived in Montana almost my whole life. And I am not a cowgirl. I can't say I'm a city girl either because the town I was from was from like was has about 2,500 people. And then I moved to Seattle and that was a culture shock, but super fun. And I was there for 13 years and then I moved back to Montana. And, um, but I have a lot of gals in my family that are cowgirls. And I just thought this was super, super fun. My cousin Jolene is a boot girl. She has got every color of boot imaginable. So, yeah. Spoiler alert, Jolie might be getting something fun with boots. <laughs> so there we go. Really fun. And that was a two yard cut. This one is called Made My Day by Free Spirit and Anna Maria Horner did it. And I thought this was so pretty. Oop, let me let me show you. I don't know if you can really see the salvage because it's kind of in a funky yellow and it's kind of hard to read, but I'm gonna get it up, up there so maybe you can see it. Anna Maria, and I'm sure her last name is Horner. Anna Maria Horner made my day. And I just thought these colors were super fun. You could do some cool stripe, you know, some really, it would give some cool dimension if you, you know, cut this stripe on a, on a sashing or something. I just thought it would be kind of fun. And a bunch of different colors to choose from. And I liked it. It had a little bit of yellow in there, but you know, that's all right. Pretty. So then this one, I, I want to say this is, hmm, I want to say this was Joanne's, but I'm not sure. It's just called Birthday Celebration AMFD Copyright Protected. I don't know. I got this online on a special and I think it was a two yard cut for X number of dollars. But I thought, how fun would that be to do, like, birthday party napkins or, you know, a wall hanging or something for the, the birthday person to have a special something. I just thought it was super cute. So I just, yay, happy birthday and party. And I just thought it was cute. And so many fun colors to use. So I got that. This one looks kind of watercolorish to me. And... Yep, it's a Joanne, and what does, I think it just says Joanne on it. Hmm. Yes, it just says Joanne. And these colors I thought were super fun, and I've got strings hanging out, sorry about that. And I just, I love this, this aqua and the purpley and the blue and that little splash of pink. 
And of course there's black and white, love, love. So I thought that was kind of fun. No clue what to do with it. If you guys have any idea what to do with any of these, give me a shout out. Drop me a comment and say, hey, I've used that and I used it in this, or this would be really cool in this pattern. Just give me a shout out. I would love that because I've got so many, so many fabrics that is just, I mean, you look at it and you're just overwhelmed thinking, now what did I have planned for this? Or did I have a plan for it? Or why did I buy this? So if you've used it or you think of a pattern that's good, just let me know. Drop it down below and we'll see what we can do. Now these two are both two yard cuts again, and these are yummy. It is called Eucalyptus for, by Free Spirit. Let's, well, this pattern is called Eucalyptus, but it's called Into the Woods. Okay, let's, let's get this bad boy open so we can actually see what's going on here. Into the Woods. <laughs> It is, okay, Free Spirit presents Into the Woods by Katrinka. Really, really pretty. And the pattern, or this fabric, is called Eucalyptus. Can you see that okay? And these colors are rich and delicious. And there I go again. It's kind of leafy, and you know, I like those leaf prints, which is just bizarre to me. And this is another piece of the same line. Yeah, this is called Eucalyptus, too. Same line, Into the Woods by Katrinka, and it's this color, which is yum. Those are yummy, yummy colors. The purples, the, the plums, that little bit of magenta, and these two together are just, just yummy. I thought they were so pretty, and they have a little bit of a watercolor effect, so they're not real harsh lines. It's just really a soft, pretty palette. Okay. This one is called <laughs> Midnight and it's Timeless Treasures. And let's see if I can get this up here. Timeless Treasures and it's called Midnight. And this is for my horse girls again. And let's let's see if we can get a big big piece of this up. I thought it was so cool. These colors are yummy and it's this it's this um directional yummy colored purples and aquas and navies. Oh, so pretty. So disclaimer, my horse ladies, they might get something. <laughs> then that was also a two yard cut. Then this one I got just, I want to say it was last weekend, about 50 miles down the road, there's a quilt shop. And this was on the half price, the half price no, it wasn't half price. It was four bucks a yard. So I thought, well, I'm going to get me some of that. It is Miss Midwest Textiles and Supplies. It's called River Bend. And then it says Testillations by Victoria Bright. So I don't know which exactly one of those names is the right name. So we've got, we've got a lot of salvage here. And I, I've got a mess. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, let's see. Maybe Testillations is what it's called. By Victoria Bright, I believe. So there you go. And it is super fun. It's got just a tiny bit of yellow in it, which adds a little, just a little brightness, which I liked. And then the purples and the blues and the aquas. Oh, it's pretty. So there's that. I thought that was really fun. And just, I'd, I'd never seen this fabric before that I remember, and I thought it was super fun. So there's that one. Then I was in my hometown the other day, and I bought this at Hairball Creations. And um, they have a small fabric shop, and they do some online, or they do some quilting, long arm quilting. And they have a lot of cats. So that's why they're called Hairball Creations. And it's just a mother and daughter that run it. It's, it's just fun. So this one is called, and of course it's cats because they, they're cat people just like me. And this one is called, um, well, what's it called? Nick Gustafson for Timeless Treasures Fabrics of Soho LLC. Pattern number Nick-C1013. I thought they had names. Maybe I'm confused. 
So here is these kitties playing in the paint. And let me just get this up here so you can see. We'll start over here, Timeless Treasures. And the pattern is, can you see that? Nick and then dash C1013, I think I'm reading it backwards. But how cute are those cats? They're all playing, two of them are in the paint here, one's running around, one's on top of the can. Just so cute and so bright and fun and this really pretty light blue, light blue aqua background. So I thought, <coughs> excuse me, I thought that was, <coughs> excuse me again, what the heck? I need some water, I've been talking too much. Super cute and fun and more cats. Then I went through a dot phase. They must have been selling these on, I think it was Missouri Star and it was just like tons of dots. And I like a good dot and I like a good rainbow. So I went a little nuts and this one's just called Dots by Whistler Studios. So by Wyndham Fabrics. So this one, there we go. And black, yay, with rainbows. So I love that. And these are just a nice medium dot. They're not too huge. This one's a little smaller dot. And this is called Dots by Whistler Studios. Never enough is what it looks like it says. So this one's a different colorway and a smaller dot. Never enough. Oh, never enough dots. I finally got it. Holy smokes. Never enough dots. And a little slow today. Because <laughs> it's hotter than Hades in Montana. And um, there we go. And these are just yummy blues on a navy. This one is Keepsake Calico. So I got these from Joanne, Joanne's, and these are the same in two different colorways. So we have a black with these yummy rainbow dots and a white with the same yummy rainbow dots. So yay, I love some dots and I love some rainbow. This one is more bubbly, but I still like it. It's still, it's still dotty to me. This one is What's it called? It's by QT Fabrics, and it is Carol Cavallaris, is what it, I probably butchered the pronunciation, but I tried. And these colors are delish. There it is for QT Fabrics, and yum. I want to get in a bubble bath after looking at that. A cool bubble bath. <laughs> See, my poor cheeks are all rosy. So really, really pretty, and I loved it. These two are the same. They are Color Play by Northcott. Um, Patty Carey did them, and they're two yard cuts each. So here's the black version and the white version, little dots. So they are fun and colorful and just super playful. Really like them. Then this one, I think I got this at my local Quilts and More. And it's Quilting Treasures, does it say a name? Quilting Treasures, quiltingtreasures.com. It doesn't. So anyway, it's a copper dot. Here is the salvage, just says Quilting Treasures. And it's a copper dot that has a little, it's, it's metallic, so. And you don't see copper very often, so I was kind of excited about that. I, I love metallic, silver and copper, and then gold is my least favorite of the three, just because it's warm again, and I, I like a little cooler tone, and copper kind of, I just think that kind of falls in the middle. Another dot, here we go. This one has, this is a dot with a silver metallic ring around it. Let's see if I can figure out who it is. I'm all thumbs today. Well. Let me show it to you and then then we'll then we'll try to find the selvage. And I don't know, can you see that little silver metallic around it? Every I think every dot has a little silver silver around it. Really fun and those colors are really pretty. So let's see if I can find hey, I think I see words. This is called it's Oh, it's ovarian cancer colors, which is a good cause. 
And this is the Blank Quilting Corp Ovarian Cancer Inspiration. So I've totally got it all kind of screwy looking. But there we go. There's the salvage. And really, really pretty with that silver shimmer around it. It's really fun and the colors are delish. So it's a good cause and and really, really pretty. So another two yard cut of that. Hey, I think we're I think there's only three left. My hair went crazy. This one is of course I've got these all inside out. No, I wasn't very prepared. This one is called, well, let's see. I don't know what it's called. It's just got the salvage. Oh, well, that's bizarre. It's just got the colors. Hmm. This is all it shows on the salvage is the colors, which is weird to me. But anyway, it's another rainbow with a black and all those little dots on those are silver metallic. So really fun, I loved it. So two yards of that bad boy with no name. That's funky to me. Then I bought a three yard kit from Fabric Cafe that had these medallions on it. So I thought this would be fun to, to incorporate that into a border. And it is called Meandering Macrame by Dina June for Wild Apple Graphics for P and B textiles. Wow, that's a mouthful. So hopefully you can see it, me meandering macrame. So really, really fun. I just thought those were cool. It's a different kind of background. I just, I really liked it. And that teal and these dark, darker rosettes, really fun. Okay, now this next piece of fabric might freak people out, but I was a huge Kiss fan of the band Kiss when I was a kid, like 10 years old and I'm rocking out to Kiss. It was strange. But they were having a, they had a bunch of Kiss fabric and I think it was Joanne's and I could be wrong. Springs Creative LLC and that's all it says. So anyway, ha, oh, we've got Kiss fabric and these I remember the album that had all these heads on them. They each did a solo album and this was Jean's and this was Peter's and this was Ace's and this was Paul's solo album with those heads on it. So anyway, I think I have probably three, I think three more pieces of different Kiss fabrics somewhere. I just couldn't find them. That's, you know, one of these next videos is gonna be a quilt room cleanup because it's pretty much a sty. So let me scoot all these over and all these over. And let's get to some more one yard cuts. Okay. I saw this paper piecing, paper pieced roller skate. I bought it on Etsy and I'm sure it's called Kid Giddy. K-I-D-G-I-D-D-Y was the author of the pattern. And I was gonna make a whole quilt of these cute roller skates. And they're way bigger than I thought. So, and I didn't iron it, so it's not great. But all this is paper pieced and it is so freaking cute. So I was gonna do a whole quilt of all these, you know, 12 roller skates, give me a break. It'll cover the house, it's so big. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't realize it was this big. I didn't read the directions. I just had 12 printed off at the print shop. I bought the pattern and downloaded it to a thumb drive and had them printed off on 11 by 17 paper, 12 of them, really. I'm gonna make 12 of these bad boys, but I did it all in grunge except for this gray down here that I just found a, just, a, just a cute little gray for the, the base and the top of the stopper. So there's my little roller skate block by Kid Giddy and um, super cute. So I was on a quest to find some roller skate fabric to go with this. And I got this one and I think it was from Spoonflower, but I'm not 100% sure. And I ordered it online. So of course you just petal signature cotton designed by, ah, 
I don't see what it says. Anyway, I, don't, I think I got it on Etsy. So this is my neon roller skates that I thought were, would be kind of fun. So, and this, this is a little stiffer fabric. So I think this was a dyed on demand type thing. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with this one block. If I'm gonna make a bunch more, but it was fun. And then I have these roller skates to go with it. And then these I thought were super cute. And it came all packaged cute with a with a little five yard, five yard, excuse me, five inch block as a bonus. It just, they just sent me a little five inch square. And I'm gonna take the bow off. There, there we go, not as cute as it was. So here, these are super cute and it's called, oh boy. Yeah, this is cute and they're tiny but you can see a ton of them. This is called Elizabeth Studio. Oh, that's it. Pattern 667. And I got this on Etsy also. And so cute. Look at all those little skates in every color imaginable with every pattern. I just thought it was super cute. So I got a one yard cut of this bad boy. So I have the big skate and two different roller skating fabrics. So that's kind of fun and get that out of the way and now where should we go oh, I did those already so those can those can sit there let's just continue with the one yard cuts this top one is whoops I'm losing my pile over here it's just this top one is a panel and see here I go again with this retro this the retro tickly nose and I'm roasting in here I got my fan going it's just, it just reminds me of, well, if I would have been in the 50s, this is what I think it would be like. Urban Essence Designs for Blank Quilting. It's called Rock and Bowl. So I just thought it was a super cute panel. And I just thought, how fun is that? Bowling night and they're doing their thing and there's the pins. And I just thought that was a super cute panel. And here is the selvage. And these next several prints are the same, the same fabric line. Let's see if you can see it. Nope. Can you see that? Rock and bowl. Super, super fun and retro and cute and bright. So I really like that. Have any of you used this? Let me know what you did with it. And then I've got, I think I have one print that is a duplicate because I ordered one print and, and the wrong one came. So they said, just keep that and we'll get you the other one. Yep, I've got two of these, two yards of these. Um, they sent the wrong one and I said, I already have that one. And they're like, oh, I wanted this one. So they sent that bad boy. So there's these pins going boom, splash, pow. No, how did Batman go? <laughs> pow, kablam and all these bright colors, it's super fun. And it's the same, it's the same line. And then these say strike and retro lanes and just super cute tossed print on black. And this one's the same, so there's two of those. And then we have all those colorful balls in their holders, super cute, stripey type, I like it. And then we have this one that's tossed all those fun colorful bowling balls and super fun and this is the last one this is looks like neon it says bowl more bowl bowling and it's got the pins and it's just super cute so I have all of those bad boys to go together so if anybody's used this let me know what you did with it did you use the panel in something else did you just do a wall hanging did you incorporate any of these fun prints with it you let me know i'd like to see what you did thank you for that then it's been quite a while since i got these but i'm i'm kind of matchy matchy i don't know and this probably isn't the order i want to put these in but all of these were on half price at this quilt store that's about 50 miles away so i bought a yard each if I can get them all lined up here and then I'll tell you what they are. Well, maybe. Anyway, these are all like, of course they look like retro stars to me and they kind of have a, a textural, textural 
feel. Here's like, like the blue one. Can you see the stars on it? Yeah, they're kind of fun. So there's this pattern that I've wanted to do for a long time by Villa Rosa. I dug it out. It's called Sm mm, it's called Smudge. My friend Wendy bought it for me because she knew I wanted it. And it takes a half yard each of seven different fabrics. Hey! And so I'm like, I'm going to try this with those different fabrics. And I wanted something. I thought about an ombre and I, I just, I just struggled to figure out what I wanted to do with it. And then I saw all these on sale and I thought, I'm going to try that. So yeah, it's just, it's just these angular, you know, they have a little bit of a, a wiggle to them. And I just thought it was really fun. And it makes a quilt that's like 52 by 70. So that's kind of fun. So I hopefully will do a, do a video on this one. And it's called Smudge by Villa Rosa. Running dough quilts for Villa Rosa designs, that is. So get yourself a smudge pattern and we'll make one together. And those were a yard of each on those, those fabrics. So, oh, I didn't tell you what they were. I got so excited. Let's see if I can figure it out. They are called, it just says blank quilting. Well, it says pattern number, pattern number 6383 blank quilting. So there we go. Hopefully that'll help you if you're looking for these little starlight stars. So there's that. Put the pattern with it. I, I know what I want to do with it. Then I found this, you know, I kind of was in the, I was making pillowcases for everybody and I bought this to make a pillowcase for my fiance for Valentine's Day. Well, you know, it's August now, so I'm a little late, but I thought it was super cute and it's Scooby-Doo, and I love me some Scooby. And it just says Scooby-Doo, uh, what does it say? Oh, it's Camelot Fabrics, Hanna-Barbera, Scooby-Doo, that's all it says. So, and he is super cute. It says, love you, Ruv, Ruv, R-U-V. And I thought, how cute is he? So maybe next year he'll get it. A Valentine's pillowcase with Scooby on it. So anyway, I thought that was super cute. So had that. And then I told you in one of the last videos that he does like Star Wars The Mandalorian. So I found another piece that is also, um, let's see, it's Camelot Fabrics, I believe. Yeah, these, these licensed ones, Star Wars The Mandalorian, Camelot Fabrics. So here's Grogu again. And he is just hanging out there, and I thought he'd make a cute pillowcase, so he'll get a pillowcase for every darn season. Now this one, I like this whole line, and I missed out getting the layer cake. So I did get, I, the layer cake was so cute, and what is it called? Between Friends by Wyndham Fabric. So cute. And Between Friends, I kind of cut the end off, by Wyndham Fabrics. And it's all these retro phones, and I just thought they were super, super cute. And remember when we were tethered to the wall with the phone cord? <laughs> it just kind of cracks me up now when you think about how, how, what am I trying to say? We can move all over, you know, how we can move all over, we can walk, we can drive, we can still talk on the phone. When before we had like, what, six feet? We had to be right there. So it just cracks me up. And these are those old cute retro phones in really fun colors. So I thought that was super sweet. Now I have this one that, speaking of sweet, here's another fun one. This is Robert Kaufman. Um, it is called, let's see if I can get it open. Mary Lake Thompson Limited for Robert Kaufman and it's called Sweet Tooth. Let's see if I can get this lined up for you to see. I'll get you part of it and then I'll get the other part. And Sweet Tooth is right here. And it's all these ice cream cones that I think are so darn cute. I have a pattern somewhere that's got its ice cream cone 
paper piecing and it's I thought it'd be so cute to have this as the border and um so we have yummy ice cream cones really fun the colors are bright and you know the mints and the and the pinks and the chocolate chip you gotta love that or is it cookie dough might be cookie dough what do you think mint chocolate chip down here rocky road i'm not sure tell me what you think so those are really fun then i saw a pineapple quilt that I thought was really cute. I don't remember where I saw it, and I don't think I bought it, but I think it was on like an Etsy shop that just had really cute paper pieced pineapples. And so I bought this pineapple. I thought, oh, that'll be a fun border. Didn't buy the pattern, but you know, got the pineapple border. And I just thought that was really cute. This again is one of those print on demand type little arrow design, it says custom printed. So it's one of those I got on Etsy that is you just tell them you want it, and they print it up for you. And it's on a little bit stiffer fabric, but I think it'll I think it'll be fine. And it's kind of fun, some fun colors. Then I saw this one, and of course, I don't know, I went through a pineapple phase. I like it all. And then there's this one, which is called Tropical State of Mind by Michael Miller. And this one, it has such a yummy feel. It, it's just, it's just, the hand on it is delightful. Michael Miller and it's Tropical State of Mind. And look at those. They are fun and colorful and delicious. And of course, on a black background, which just makes me happy. And they just pop right off that back and super, super fun. So I really like that and had to get that one. So now I have two pineapple fabrics. Really? How many pineapple fabrics does one need? <laughs> it just cracks me up. So anyway, I've got all kinds of stuff. Now these two I got at Missouri Star on sale. And you know, did you ever order something and you're like, well, that's not exactly what I thought it was gonna be. And I don't know, hopefully I can work them into something. It is called, oh, Ray Ritchie for Dear Stella. And that's all it says. So here is the selvage. Yeah, can you see it? Can you see it? Ray Ritchie for Dear, Dear Stella. And I bought both of these as one yard cuts and neither of them, I didn't love either of them. I just, I just had something different in mind. This is a little richer or warmer tone than I thought it was. And so, but they're a nice tone, tonal, that'll read solid. So I'm gonna try to figure out something to do with these two. And if you guys have used it, let me know, because I was kind of going, oh, when I got these. But they're not bad. They're not bad. It's just maybe not my cup of tea. But I think I should be able to figure something out for them. So let me know if you've used these and how you used it, because this one was kind of tough for me. So let me know what you did with it, and maybe I can get some inspiration from you. Thanks on that. This one is called, what is it called? Oh, see here again, it just says Timeless Treasures. Oh, I lied. It's called Solid-ish by Kimberly. Ooh, I don't know how to say this last name. So I will just show you. Solid-ish by Kimberly for Timeless Treasures. And it's that yummy turquoise color. And it's just got a little bit of tonal interest going on, but it'll read solid and yummy, yummy color. These two, actually these three, I also got at Hairball Creations. So I thought this one was so fun. And it's just a really fun, on black again, but it's got all these stars and swirls. And I just thought the movement was fantastic on this one. And I just loved it. Excuse me, I sneeze every time I do this. That's just crazy. So um, this is called, what is it called? Yeah, I just think this is, this has got, this has got some movement going on big time. This is called, oh, well, I wouldn't have thought it was called this. Dinosaur Kingdom by Kate, 
Modsy. I'm not, that is totally screwed that up for Henry Glass. So there it is. If you were looking for some and super fun and it is just, just fun. And all that stars and swirls and colors, I just, mm, really fun. Then these two I got at Hairball also. These two are from the same, from the same line. It is called Pixies and Petals Salt Meadow Studio for Henry Glass. And they glow in the dark. So that is really fun. Pixies, oh, can you see that okay? And then, and it glows in the dark. So I'm super excited for that. That one is really pretty. And there's another one that I want to get, and it's, they didn't have it, but it's all mushrooms, and they glow in the dark. And they're all these yummy colors, like this. This is the same line, and it glows in the dark, too. And they have bleeding heart flowers. I have never seen a fabric with bleeding hearts. So I just thought that was super, super fun. I loved it. And the colors are just delicious to me. So I want to get the mushrooms that match. And they're all in the pinks and purples, and they glow in the dark, too. So these two together that glow in the dark, add those yummy mushrooms. Ah, I just can't wait. So fun. Okay, guys, I'm almost done. This one is another dot on my dot adventure. This is called Frosty Forest by Cherry Goudry for Benertex. And there's the selvage. And this is just a fun dot with some cross hatching and texture in it. I just love it. So it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be for Christmas, although it's called Frosty. You can, you can use it any darn place. So I really like that one. And the color, this cherry is, her name was Cherry, but this is a really pretty cherry color. I really liked it. Then I got this one yesterday, half price at Quilts and More here in town. And it is called, I thought this was kind of fun for my country gals. This is called, it just says Blank Textiles Ink and a pattern number. So there's the number. And I just, let me open this up a little bit bigger. Well, maybe you can see it. I just thought that was kind of a cool little rustic fence and wagon wheel with some barbed wire. I thought that was kind of fun. So that will be a, a neat little block or border or sashing. I thought it was really kind of fun. So there's that one for my country people. Okay, guys, I think I have three pieces left and these are all three yard cuts. So... You don't have to put up with me much longer. <laughs> this one is, let's see, what's it called? It is called 100 Years, created by Libs Elliott for Andover Fabrics. Well, and it says 2020 pattern 9754 Highline. So that must be the whole dang, the whole dang name. Holy smokes, look at those. Kind of looks like you're hypnotized. I loved it. It's got all those fun, bright colors on the black again, and they look like gemstones to me with a little vibration. I just loved them. Super fun, super happy. They make me happy. And um, this one is Hello Angel, licensed to Wilmington Prince. I thought this was an effervescent line for some reason. It says, it says Essentials copyright. So what, I don't think that's a very good, I'm not getting this very good. So let's, let's try it again. Essentials. There we go. And it is, it is fun rainbow on a navy. Well, it looks like it's, it's like a navy base with all these dots going in a diagonal direction and rainbow colors and yum I loved it it's got dots and rainbow and movement and just super super fun so I thought that was super cool and if you guys used it let me know what you used it in one more piece okay guys I went out to quilts and more yesterday and this one is called this one is called night vision by Simon I'm not sure how to say his last name for Northcott. So I'll just show you. Let's get this. 
and I bought three yards of this. The last two, well, these last three, counting this one, are all three yards. And this is so yummy. Night Vision by Mr. Simon and from Northcott. That is so pretty. I'm going to put this on my new, I am going to make a new huge ironing board. I'm going to buy a dresser, like a six drawer dresser. And I'm going to, I want it black, a black base. And then I'm gonna do a different front, a different color on the front of the drawers and then put like a, a glittery purple knob on the drawers. And then I'm going to lay a door. I've got an extra door in this house, an extra door. And I'm going to make that into a big, huge ironing space for out in the big room. So this is going to be the cover of my new giant ironing board. So when I do that, I will make a video on it and show you how that works. And um, I have to pick, pick, out, uh, pick out a dresser that I want. I was looking around town at the, we didn't have many garage sales lately. And I thought, you know, I don't know if I wanna really redo one. So why don't I just buy one? And then I just need to, to scuff up the drawers a little bit and get, get it so the paint will adhere and paint the drawer tops and change out the, the hardware and we set. I don't have to refinish everything. So I'm gonna order one of those, plop a big door on it with the with all wrapped up and ready to iron. So hopefully this will make a really pretty ironing cover because I think it is gorge. So as soon as I start working on that, I'll have a video out. Thank you so much you guys for spending your time with me today. Please remember to subscribe like, share with a friend, and if you've used any of these fabrics or have an idea what to use, what pattern to use, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay creative. This is Dion at Four Clovers Quilting. Thank you so, so much for coming on this fabric journey with me, and you guys have a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye.